Hello and welcome to the channel. Today on Living Abroad, we're going to take a look at a neighborhood called Ortokoy. It's the first Saturday after the restrictions have been lifted here in Turkey and people seem to be out enjoying themselves. It's a beautiful sunny day, so we'll do the same. Let's go across to the European side. We'll take the ferry over and explore the area. My name is Alex and you can live through me. So we just got off the ferry and right away you enter this uh, area full of tourists and the mosque that's there. There's many cafes to sit at and some restaurants as well. So let me have a look around and see what we can find. It's pretty exciting to me to just check out different neighborhoods around the city. You know, you never know what you can run into and what kind of stores you see. Different foods, different people, different atmosphere. I love it. It's the reason why we travel, right? Just to experience these things. To some people, this looks like a normal street, but to me, this is excitement, bro. You take a few random turns, you can see a Harley Davidson. Take another turn, you see some nice graffiti on the wall, like right there. That's a cat lady. Check out these benches. Sueño cuando era pequeño sin preocupación en el corazón. Let's go this way. This is a nice little street. People selling things, jewelry, handbags, paintings.
this is the Ortakoy Mosque, um, one of the tourist attractions here in Istanbul. I'll see if I can get inside and see what it looks like. Uh, there's lots of people out here today and I'm just trying to find a place to sit, maybe have something to drink or eat. Not really sure what though, so hopefully I can find something soon. There's also a really big bridge on the left here. I see many photos of. Let me see. Oh, this guy's fishing. I hope he catches something. Oh, that's the bridge right there. And across from us is the Asian side. This is the entrance to the mosque. I'm gonna take a look inside. I'll try not to videotape it, but I'll tell you guys my experience once I come out. I have to admit, uh, the inside wasn't that impressive, but it was really moving. It's been about 15 years since I've been inside a mosque, so it was a little emotional for some reason. You can really feel the power in there and I don't know, definitely check it out if you're here. Um, it wasn't impressive as far as architectural, you know, construction, but it was really nice to see a mosque after such a long time. You know, in Canada, there aren't too many mosques. Um, you have to be part of a community and, you know, I'm sure you could find one, but in my neighborhood, there wasn't too many. So it was really interesting for me to see a mosque again after such a long time yeah it was nice it was nice though it was a nice experience i'm starting to get a little hungry and thirsty let's walk around and see if you can find a place to have a seat take a look at the menu and order something to drink and eat let's go i see some menus here hmm. oh not that place Definitely not this place, Starbucks. Let's try something a little bit more authentic. This looks like a shisha bar, a hookah bar. If you're into smoking. You know, that's one of my favorite things to do when I travel is just to try random places to sit down and uh, you know, watch the day go by, experience life as a local. Unless you're at an Irish pub. <laughs> but yeah, it's really peaceful here. I'm surprised there aren't as many people in these side streets. I guess most people are by the water and on the main street. Check out this place. Why not? It's right by the water. I would have preferred to sit by the water, but it's better than nothing. You got me sitting here like a Turkish sultan. Nice pillows and comfy cushions. It's a nice place, I just need a menu so I can choose something. It's a nice atmosphere, I like it. Bro, this is so embarrassing. I'm sitting here for like 10 minutes waiting for a menu and I was just about to leave. The waiter's like, are you ready to order? I'm like, I'm waiting for the menu. And he's like, it's on the table, you have to scan it. Come on. Am I getting that old? When's the last time I went to a restaurant? Anyway, so I have to use my phone to scan the menu and choose from there. Let's have a look at the menu and figure something out to eat. It's still rather early in the morning. Let's try to have something breakfasty, but not just eggs or an omelet. Perhaps something more Turkish. What is this? Men and men. Uh, cereal, egg, some milk, and we have the option of adding sausage or cheese. I think I'll take it as it is. 
with some Turkish tea. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Food has just arrived. It looks like a tomato omelet or a Mexican omelet. It does look delicious. And with some bread and tea. Going in for the first bite. Got a little bread basket with some simit and regular white bread. I'm gonna try this simit. This is a Turkish bread with sesame seeds. Well, breakfast was delicious, guys. That cost me 39 for the omelet and 12 lira for the tea. It was really good. Well, let's walk around and maybe we can go back to the Asian side. Let's see what else is here. I love seeing all the colors here sometimes, just to see traditional designs. And there's also an Ottoman costume shop here. You can dress up as someone from back in the day from the Ottoman Empire and take some photos. Kind of a fun thing to do, but not for me, bro. You gotta be in a relationship or something for that kind of stuff. In my opinion, you know. That was it, so we're back on the Asian side. I'm gonna try to get some dinner now. Uh, let me know your thoughts and comments. If you have any questions about Ortokoi, leave them down below. Uh, press the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.